today i have to be fast because i don't have a lot of time on monday there is a show for the release of the album the album slow light by dirty verdi was released today you can listen to it completely on youtube and they do a show on monday and i will do a longer video for the show and for the release of the album i wanted to do a video this week for you of course as every week it's the worst moment for me to do a video i have so much work to do my work is not great these days not a lot of sales and i was kind of a little uh, anxious about that and i need to work more so I thought, okay, I must do a video, but not too long because I have some work to do. Especially tomorrow, I have a very busy day. So it's not going to be like that every week. It's just that not good. For example, just to give you an example, I had so many returns, things people bought and they change their mind and they return. And today someone bought from me two pieces of fabric. So it was really a good sale. But, 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 the buyer was in South Korea. And I remember that there was a problem to send fabrics to South Korea. It's among the prohibited products to send. I told her, okay, are you sure that I'm allowed to send that? So she said, yeah, yeah, yeah. When I was about to do the package, I checked because we have to check if nothing is prohibited. And it was prohibited. So I was so mad. I was like, ah, oh, I made a good sale and no, I cannot, I, I'm not allowed to do that. These beautiful fabrics, they are going to stay here for now. Hopefully I will sell them at a point. I'm checking if I don't have a shadow on me because on the last video, I had a shadow on me. And the worst part is that I don't see it here. Well, except when I put my hand like that. But once I'm editing the video, it's when I see it. Let's hope. I'm sorry about that. If there is a shadow, I'm sorry. I don't see it on the screen. And then I see it when I edit my video. I'm sorry. So what did I decide to talk about? Yes, law of attraction. It's funny because on the last video, I was talking about the law of attraction. And then the next day, the next day my video was released, a guy on Instagram, um, someone who likes Markolis and Talk Talk, I don't remember, I, I will write the name of the person who wrote that, talked about an interview by Markolis. I'm going to read the part which interests us. So Mark was really good with the law of attraction. He didn't know what he was doing, but he was a champion for that. <laughs> so Mark recounts that the group has some kind of guiding spirit. Although we don't believe in the supernatural and things like that, he says, I don't think I've even had my fortune told by anyone. I wouldn't want to know anyway. <laughs> but it does seem that whatever we want we seem to get <laughs> like i wanted a certain record company and we were signed to them then a particular producer and he happened to be in america so i knew that dream was out but no sooner had i uttered the words to the guy at the record company office then in walked the same producer I couldn't believe it. That is powerful because usually it's not so easy, it's not so fast. But things like that happen to me too. So I'm not saying that I'm a champion and he's a champion and nobody can do it. No, everybody can do it. It's really possible for everybody. I'm not a specialist of the law of attraction. I didn't write books about the law of attraction. I'm just giving you my own experience and what happened to me. Just two examples. So one year we went to, for the new year, we went to London with my ex-husband and my two kids. And I was so excited because I, I love London. I love England in general. So I was very happy to go. And when we arrived at Heathrow, that was my fault. We had to give an ID 
one ID, the, the usual ID, I didn't have it. And my passport, the only ID I had was my passport and it was expired. And I didn't know, and it was not expired since a long time. It was really recent, but I didn't check. Usually I never do things like that. It's, it's so not me, but I don't know. Maybe I was so excited by the trip that it completely slipped my mind. I don't know what happened. I was so devastated to see that and so mad at myself. And we were in front of this agent, uh, the, the, the guy who was supposed to check the papers. And he said, I'm sorry, I cannot let you in. And I was begging him. I was like, please, please, we are going to celebrate the new year in London. Everything was planned. At the beginning, he didn't want. He, we were screwed. And at a point, I was so sad, I started crying. I never do that. I, I never do that. But I was really really sad i didn't started crying to convince him i started crying because i wanted to cry and i don't know what happened he said okay and he let us in and we were like you're sure <laughs> because it was so incredible one minute it was no the next minute it was yes it was so incredible so we came in in England and we couldn't believe what happened till today I don't understand what happened but I think that I was manifesting so much and so sincerely the wish to come in England London is a great city for the new year it was like a fairy tale suddenly it was like boom yes you are allowed to come please come in that was the first time that I wondered what happened what was that but i didn't know anything about the law of attraction that was at the end of the 90s i didn't know a thing about that second example it was much later because it was in 2009 2009 i had asked for a visa to come to live here before which has been denied so it was my second application to get my visa the lawyer that I had then was not doing his job properly and was making me wait and wait and I was in Paris. I had to do the demand in Paris. The first visa that you ask, you have to do it in the country where you come from. So I was in Paris. I had everything settled here, but I was waiting in Paris for my lawyer to finish the file and to send it. And I was waiting and waiting and he was not doing his job and I started panicking and uh, I started really feeling really bad. It was turning really bad. I called everywhere, the assistant, the secretary, the lawyer, the, and some of them didn't even answer so much I was annoying them. The assistant, the, the woman who was actually supposed to take care of my file, so she didn't answer at first but at a point i remember it was like a special moment i was at my parents home when th this happened and i was in my bedroom there at a point i thought okay i did everything i could now i have just to hope that things will be fine and if not i will have to think of something else of, of another solution at a point i was accepting what the universe was going to bring to me and thinking that i did all my best to get what i wanted but if it was not what was meant to be i had to accept it and if it was what was meant to be i had to accept it also and just at that moment uh, i think maybe one hour later the assistant called me saying okay your file is ready i'm sending you that with ups or fedex or i don't remember and then you send it to the embassy and you will see i was relieved because at least my file was done so that's what i did i sent it to the embassy everything was sent and then we had when i say we my son and i we had to wait to wait and same thing i was like whatever happens i will accept it and it was just christmas 2009 so i thought that i would have the answer after christmas actually it was incredible 
I got my answer just before Christmas Eve, in the afternoon, before, uh, in the same day of Christmas Eve, but in the afternoon. I got my answer, it was a positive answer. I got my visa, I got my visa, which meant that it was supposed to be. I was supposed to move to Los Angeles. Well, I already moved before, but I was supposed to live and to stay in Los Angeles. It was, I, I remember still today, it was kind of magical because not only I got my visa, but I understood that when you want something, you can do everything you can to get it. But at a point, you must trust the universe to bring you what is good for you. So I'm not saying that never horrible things happen and people don't die or have accidents or are hurt. Or, of course, horrible things happen. I'm talking about the everyday things. Of course, you can do everything you can to avoid accidents and to avoid to be killed and to try to stay alive. Of course, you can help with that. Sure that if you always go to dangerous places or if you drive like crazy, then uh, it's like if you were saying, okay, I want to die. So it's better to avoid that. Unfortunately, we cannot always avoid that. But I'm talking more about the everyday life, the, the, the things which make our life happy or not happy. That day I understood that we have to do all what we can to get what we want, but then we must trust the universe to bring us what is the best for us. It means that I got my visa, that's what I wanted, and obviously that's what the universe decided that it was the best for me for me for us my son and i actually my son now is married here and obviously i touch wood but so far it's rather good for him for me it's much more complicated but anyway i'm here i'm here and i do everything to stay here I've been here since 13 years now and I didn't change my mind. I still want to stay here. I trust the universe to organize the thing by such a way that it will be the best for me. In my mind, the best for me is to stay here because I'm really happy here. I hope that I will stay here. That's what I want. But I trust the universe for that. So. That is two examples that I'm giving you to show you a little how it works. So, how it works. So, I'm not an expert. I'm just talking about my own experience, what I know so far. And I'm sure that I still have a lot to learn, but you can try, you can try. So, let's say, for example, you absolutely want something. I don't know. You want to move somewhere. You want a new job. You want a new boyfriend. Or you want, I don't know, a new dress. <laughs> No, uh, think of something that you really want. You must be very clear about what you want. You must not say, oh, I'm craving to have this job. And when the job happens, oh, actually, I don't want it so much. No, no. You must be very clear about what you want. You must be really convinced about what you want. And it's really what you want. So don't wait for the universe to bring it to you. It doesn't work like that. You must do everything you can to get what you want. I mean, everything honest, everything nice. I mean, no manipulation, no things which can hurt other people, no lies, no sneaky ways to get what you want, no, I don't know, no gossip about someone else. No, no, you must try to get the thing you want by a honest way, by the higher way. It means with a way which is honorable, which is higher than the usual. I mean, you, you really work for it. You really try, but without hurting other people. If you try to get something by hurting other people or by manipulating other people, it doesn't work. It's not going to work. It must only be by a honest, real, sincere way. So you do whatever you can. And then the universe is going to help you to get what you want. It's not going to automatically work, but maybe it will work. 
maybe it will lead to something else which is actually better for example it happened to me to sell something and the buyer doesn't pay or doesn't want it anymore and returns it to me or as today the example i cannot even send the things i trust the universe i didn't sell it now i will sell it later and it's always what happens very often i sell it later and even for a better price so sometimes things don't happen exactly as we expected or are more difficult to get but in the end something happens we must be very patient and we must trust and we must believe believe that things will happen i, I would say we must think believe that something positive is going to happen even if it's not exactly what we wanted sometimes it's better that is what i call the law of attraction some people say that they don't have luck they, they never have some luck and that nothing happens to them and everything is always screwed but unfortunately sometimes these people do everything to screw everything so i give you an example i have an old friend in paris his dream was to do sketch uh, comical uh, humoristic things a sketch on tv and he was writing uh, little things funny sometimes very sarcastic very dark but it was funny he was dreaming of meeting someone who had a tv show this tv show was perfect for what my friend was writing he was dreaming to meet this guy who had this tv show when i was saying in my previous video look at the signs around you that was a big sign he met the guy the guy was just in front of him in a restaurant he could have gone and, and talked to him and asked him something or give him just uh, i don't know his phone number or maybe he could have given him what he was writing if he had that with him well he could have gone and talked to the guy i know it's difficult to do it to go to talk to someone you don't know but it was his shot he had this only shot it was a big sign from the universe go it's your shot if you don't do it now it's screwed he didn't go he was so shy he didn't go he missed his shot sometimes a second occasion happens but when you have the opportunity jump on it because sometimes it, it won't happen a second time so that's why i was saying in my previous video look around check on the signs sometimes you are wondering something oh i really would like that and just at that moment someone comes and say do you know that i have that are you interested and it's just what you ask for it happens for example in paris in 1995 i was searching for a job i was like oh i don't make enough money i would need at least a part-time job to have more money than what i'm doing for my clients just at that moment a friend of mine Ivan estivalet a, a guy who was selling flowers he had a flower shop told me oh you know that uh, my friend he's searching for people to do art and craft demonstration are you interested it's just what i was saying the day before i was searching for something like that so that is a sign and then i said yes yes i want it and i got the job another day i was already here and i was supposed to receive some money and finally it didn't happen and i started panicking thinking oh my god i have this and this to pay how i'm going to do and i told someone if only 300 dollars could come in just now it would help me and i could figure it out just at that moment i made a sale of around 300 dollars that's incredible it's not me it can happen to anybody so when you want something say it loud say it to someone write it on a piece of paper or do a, a board where you put your wishes your dream your 
vision, what we call that a vision board. I don't really do that, but I talk a lot and I often say what I want. For example, right now, what I want is to make more sales because ah, I'm worried. Unfortunately, I don't make money with my videos. That's why I have to do my videos after my work. I would like to be able to do my videos whenever, but no, I have to think of my job first and my videos second. Unfortunately, well, I love my job, but I really like doing videos also. So that could be a wish. I would like to make money with my videos. Videos. I would love to make money with my videos, really. I must have more viewers, more subscribers, more views. <laughs> I must think about that. Anyway, I'm not saying that it's perfect. I'm not saying that automatically the things will happen. I'm just saying that if we don't try, it won't happen. So we must at least try. Basically, so far for me, the law of attraction is something like that. You want something, you decide that this thing is the best thing for you. Well, I decide that this thing is the best thing for me, that I would like to go that way. And then I think, how can I do that? And I start thinking and then I put in motion what I want and towards where I want to go. And usually things around me happen by such a way that things happen. I mean, things come to help me in what I'm doing. But you have to do something. You cannot just sit on your sofa and wait for the universe to do the job for you. No, you have to work hard to get what you want. And you must stay positive. You must never say, oh, it will never happen. Because then the universe or your guardian angel, or call it as you want, you say, oh, okay, it will never happen, so we don't have to do a thing. Basically, it's that. So you must say, yes, it must happen. So for me, I'm going to say, yes, it must happen. I must make more money so I can be a little more relaxed in my job and on my videos. And I don't have to rush to do everything. <laughs> anyway, yes, I must also work more. I, I think that maybe I don't work enough. I must work more. So it's not only the universe fault, it's my fault too. Yes, we are responsible for what we do. We must not count on someone else to do what we have to do. But a little help never hurts. I hope you understood. If you have questions about the law of attraction, if you want me to develop more about that, I can. We can have a conversation about that. You must know. Some people know. I mean, I didn't invent that. I actually, I discovered that when I was in the US, I discovered that with the film documentary named The Secret. Yes, I remember that. Someone told me, oh, you should watch The Secret. And I ordered it. I watched it. I hated the film documentary. I considered it was not really well done. Little a little bad taste but I must admit that the subject what they were saying I thought oh that's what happened to me before so I knew that it was true because I experienced it before so I knew that there was something true in this documentary so if you can get the secret I think it has been made in different languages so if you can watch that pay more attention to the subject itself, what it is saying. They don't explain to you exactly how to do the things, but if you have any questions, I can tell you at least how I do this thing. This thing. I, I don't do much, actually. I try to feel how the things are, where I can go, what is the best. I think a lot about the process. I always try to stay in a natural way because when the things are forced, it's not working. And I also try to stay true to myself. I mean, I always try to, to not do things which would be against what I think. I always try, yes, to be honest in my way of doing. Don't forget, no manipulation, no sneaky way, no lies. 
no cheating, no hurting other people. You must take the higher way, the classy way, the most powerful way, and you must trust the universe. Okay, I'm going to stop with that. Now I will go to the second point, what I wanted to say. It's going to be a little uh, different things, but <laughs> it's like a melting pot of subjects, this video. Slow Light was released today. Actually, I went to listen to the two songs that I didn't know on the album during the last night, because I noticed that Dirty Verdi sometimes was releasing on YouTube during the night before the official day of the release. So I went to bed very late because I was working and I thought, oh, I must check, maybe the album is already there. It was the case, I was right. So I went to listen to Northern Star and the other song it's I Will Wait. So Northern Star. I was listening to that in my bed at 2 a.m. Wow, it shocked me. <laughs> I'm going to explain to you why. I like the... Suppose it's violins. I must check on the album. First, it gave me the same feeling that I had when I listened for the first time to the Marcoli solo album. Listen to that. not the same but there is something there is something maybe it's the acoustic aspect i don't know maybe the instruments maybe the change of beat maybe the fact that it's so sad i don't know first i was like okay Marcoli solo album bis <laughs> for this song, I mean. Then I realized that the beginning of the song, it reminds me the kind of music that we could have in the old French movies or even old French series that I was watching when I was a very small child. So it was like, oof, like a travel in the past, you know, <laughs> like, Hmm, how does he do that? He's not French. How does he know? <laughs> so when I say he, I mean Dylan, but actually maybe it's the people who are arranging the thing. Maybe it's Jonathan. I don't know. So I was a little surprised by that. And then... The second part of the song, you must go to listen to it on YouTube. I'm sorry, I cannot play it completely here. I'm not allowed to. I'm going to be in trouble again if I do that. Second part, it's completely American. There is something... Um, I don't know how to define that. I'm not good to give style on, on music. It's not exactly blues or jazz. I'm not sure, but it, it, it goes from French old thing to completely American, maybe a little jazzy, yes. And I was like, how does he do that? How do they do that? How did they manage to put in the same song two things completely different and manage to remind me of the Marcoli solo album, even though it's not the same thing. So I listened to this song twice. 
And, well, it was 2 a.m., I had to sleep, and I was like, okay, tomorrow is another day. But I listened to it this morning, and I still had the same feeling. So I was like, okay, I didn't dream. There is something there which is really strange. <laughs> I love the song. It's beautiful. It's terribly sad. I must read the lyrics, but I have the feeling that it's not going to be joyful. I recommend the album. I will talk about the album in other videos. I just do a quick thing right now and that's it. The last song is I Will Wait, so... <laughs> I'm, I'm laughing but it's not funny. Unfortunately at 2 a.m. I understood the most part of the lyrics, unfortunately for me, because really it, it didn't... it's not what I call it brings joy. No, it doesn't. I was like it is so sad. The lyrics are so sad. And I'm very sensitive to these kinds of things because it reminds me not good memories. I, I get what he's talking about. I went through that and I'm avoiding that as much as possible. I avoid sadness. I avoid the drama. I avoid any sad love story. I, I, uh, no, I don't want that. I went through that and I want to avoid that as much as possible. So I try to stay away from that. So, of course, I'm going to listen to the song again. Of course, I'm going to read the lyrics and try to understand what he's talking about, even if I already know what he's talking about. I'm not saying that I'm going to spend all my time on this specific song. I love it. It's beautiful also. But same thing, I will talk about it in another video. It's very difficult for me to see someone in front of me going there because I know what is there and that is not good. And it's impossible for me to give advice because it's none of my business or to say what I think about it on a video once again because it's none of my business. But it's hard for me to read that, to listen to that, to look at that and say nothing and not care. I cannot. I went through that. So it puts me in a very difficult position, especially when you know that there are better ways. You know, there are better ways to deal with difficult times. So maybe I realize that maybe I'm stronger than what I thought. Maybe I'm someone who likes to battle and to get out of the darkness maybe maybe some people prefer staying in the darkness so that's why it's none of my business i cannot give my opinion or or say anything about that it's especially that it seems to be something private so it's really none of my business Anyway, when I will have the lyrics, I will be able to say more, uh, and I don't know if I will, <laughs> but at least I will be sure that I understood correctly. But listen to the album. The album is excellent. I must listen to it myself more because I cannot listen to it deeply and work in the same time. It, it, it's impossible. And I really had to work today. And it was released just today. So I plan to really give some time to listen to the album correctly, deeply, and just only that, not doing something else in the same time. So on Monday, they are doing a show for the release of the album. I will be there. I don't know yet how I'm going to do my video, like a vlog. Same thing, to combine my work with the event. Especially that I think that my video could be longer for the show, so I really have to organize myself and see how I'm going to do that. Anyway, of course, I will take you with me to the show if the universe decides that I must go to the show and that I will go to the show and that I will be there, of course. <laughs> anyway, I will do everything to go to the show. That is basically what we were waiting for, the release of this album. I heard about it since months and now 
It happens. I will buy the album. Oh, I posted on Instagram a photo with objects. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you don't know. Come to join me on Instagram. Usually I'm selling vintage things. Most of the time vintage, sometimes not vintage, but most of the objects I sell are vintage. And of course, I love objects, so I'm showing you a few beautiful things. For example, that is what we call in France sulfur. It's a Murano glass. It's very heavy. It's a paperweight, but you can use it as decoration. This one is vintage. I bought it in France, in Paris. I didn't buy it. My ex-husband offered it to me, but in Paris, he bought it in Paris, but it was probably made in Murano, in Italy. It's beautiful. I have a few ones like these. All these ones, I bought them here actually in the US. So it's quite different, but it's the same principle. This one is like an apple. I like that. I bought them together actually. I don't know why I love these things. A baloney shell. So a baloney shell is things like that. I have many, I sold a lot. I love shells. I love shells, I love mother of pearl, everything related to the ocean, I love. That is such a beautiful object. That is nature. What can you ask more than something like that? It's so beautiful. Look at the inside. I'm not selling it, it's mine. It's just to show you the beauty, you know. Papier d'Armenie, do you know what it is? So it's like that, it's like a little notebook. You cut that, you fold it in three, you make it burn and it smells so good and it basically it's sanitized. I used to decorate the small matchbox but I didn't do that. A friend of a friend of mine did this one but I love it. But I used to decorate a lot. And this matchbox, I bought it. I'm not religious, uh, it's just that I found that beautiful. I bought it at Lily Ashwell shop, but the shop doesn't exist anymore. So once again, I'm not doing advertising for someone or for anything. It's just to show you. That's nice to look at beautiful things, no? Sometimes. Actually, this one, it was not on my photo. But this one is a magnifying lens. I bought it at Rachel Ashwell, Shabby Chic. Once again, she doesn't have them anymore, so don't get excited. <laughs> I'm not doing advertising and I'm not doing advertising for that. <laughs> that is some stones that I picked up on the beach or anywhere. And also some, how we call that, you know, some glass like that, which is very soft. You find that near the sea. I love, look at this one. It looks like a little heart. I love this thing. For me, something like that is as valuable as any home decor objects. I love looking at these things. So you see what I have in front of me when I do my videos. Oh, for example, this one, I decorated myself. So on this side you have, I don't know if you managed to, to see what I'm showing you. Uh, yes, rather like that, like that. And on the other side, you have it like that. I, I used to decorate a lot of matchbox like that and uh, matchboxes, and I sold a lot. I still have some to sell, but I'm not saying that to sell them to you. It's just to show you what I have in front of me and what I love. I love beautiful objects like this. I bought that in a thrift store. It's a vintage glass and I put a candle mm, it smells so good mm, I could spend my day like that <laughs> oh and this this is a mother of pearl coaster with some cork on the other side this is vintage from the 60s my parents had that and I still have them I love mother of pearl an example of what I have in front of me when I'm shooting my videos, I have all my little treasures. Okay, so 
I'm going to stop here so my video will be shorter to edit. It will be fine. You will have probably something bigger next week. Please don't forget to give me a thumb up if you like this video. It would really help. And what would really help is if you subscribe to my channel. That would really help. And please don't forget to comment if you have something to ask, something to say, or if you are not happy about something, please tell me. And I will tell you more about Slow Light, the new album by Dirty Verdi. My cat is purring really loud. I don't know if you hear. Voila, voila, voila. Oh. No, he wants to go away. He has to decide. If he's not the one who decides, no, it's not okay. So, I see you in my next one and hopefully we will be a little less in the rush and now I have hair everywhere. Okay, <laughs> see you soon. Bye-bye.